By the way, your shape looks nice, man. It was... So I sat in the barber's chair, right? And he's doing what he's doing. And he's like, why don't I go tea? And I'm like, I'm thinking about it, but why don't we make sure that I like it before we commit to it? But then he trims the beard, or the trims the mustache already. I'm like, well, I'm not going to have a half-ass mustache. So I'm stuck with a goatee. Yeah. So now I'm stuck with this stupid, good-looking goatee. So thanks a lot, Barber. Anyway. It looks good, though. Yeah, I know. Screw that guy. Barber made you look, look good. good. What an asshole. I know. I only tipped him 20%. But anyway. Bucks wave right now. <laughs> There's the bus frames. See no coke, aka low tier Moses. Uh, yep. Playing tip for tat here. Both characters like playing at a really awkward angle for most of the cast, but I don't know. The matchup's interesting to say the least. Gets the jump in with that jump light kick. Notoriously Sorry, good. I'm to fix this really quick. Mm -mm -mm. Good punish. Fox Wave just doesn't have the critical art just yet. Or excuse me, the V trigger. Spends it on the V shift. Right now. Unfortunately, Casino Coke is in a kind of precarious situation. He's going to keep blocking. Thankfully, he doesn't have the claw clip, so he's not losing it until that very moment. Oh, and what do you do? You die to Crouch Fierce and Flux Wave. Going to take round number one. Oh. There's Crouch Fierce right. again. Double Crouch Fierce mm. just coming out. All right, the dash in after the blocked one. Can kind of feel Coke uh, just trying to figure out his game plan here. Like he's playing very mm. slowly. He's just feeling it out. Has the advantage there, but backs off. And we've seen this matchup between characters play out again and again. Usually it's Mylin versus Metro, who are one of the great all time online local rivalries. But it's fun to see Flux and Casino going at it with a similar tool set. Yeah, who does Mylan usually? Does he usually pick the uh, lower for this matchup? Yeah, if he's going up against the poison, he doesn't usually play the mirror. Yeah. Ooh, that's dead. Uh. No, 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 no. I love that face. That stupid Vega face. Pout. Pout as I die. Alright, Flux it's, Wave. It's Vega. All of his faces are goofy. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. All right, Flux Wave, showing it off for game number one. I think this, you know, Coke mm. is a diehard Vega player, so I don't think we're going to be seeing any switches. But we could be seeing a mix-up right in terms of the score. We could be. Casino Coke did pull off a comeback. It wasn't quite enough in all of his matches, but he did show he's got it, especially against Bumba Snuff. So the fact that he lost to Mena is... No shame. I mean, it's it's freaking meta. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! What a call out with the anti-air heart rate. God, even if he didn't lose the claw, it's just so bad enough to kill. Jesus Christ! This character's damage probably escalated by the loss of the mask there. But you know what? At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Round one of game two, going with Flux Wave. Yes. Flux Wave. Quite aggressive in that last round. One of the more aggressive poisons I've seen. The temptation with this character is to kind of play them as a player as a zoner and really lock your opponent out. Flux is getting in there and just handing Casino his own Jesus. teeth. Just the crouch fears. One of the things that kind of stinks about this matchup is that Vega. Ideally, you don't want to be blocking all that much. You don't want to get hit, but you don't want to be blocking because then you, you can still lose your mask and your claw. Um, oh God, As we call see. Out. And uh, there's just no place where you can't block against Poison. You're you're pretty much always blocking if you're not pressuring her. And so, mm, yeah, this is rough. This is a rough matchup. Casino down two games to nothing. Really has to make something happen. He really has to reconsider his strategy. If you're in his seat, if you're holding his controller, what are you thinking you'll do different? Uh, I'm going to try a stand medium punch again. And I'm going to see if it works. Round one. Fight. Let's see. Tries to walk and block. There's a the stand medium punch. At least getting a bit of a life lead, but again, kind of have to stay on the offense. 
if Flux is gonna keep you out with these heart raids. Yep. There's the call out, but no success so far. It's actually allowed Casino to get in a few times, both on land yeah. and on sea. Um, Oh, B reversal there though, but not gonna get anywhere. That was a beautiful air grab and Casino putting himself back in the fight, as you said. Some real good aggression here, even without the claw, and that stun means it's gonna kill. Yeah, that's somewhat on flux a little bit. He was really trying to call out the aerial approach with those heavy heart raids, mm. and uh yeah, Casino Cook wasn't biting. He was willing to dash in on every attempt. Yeah. Now we see Flux. Keeping to the ground a little bit better, Crouch Fierce. There's the heavy heart rate again, though. Really trying to call out the the jump-ins that just aren't happening. And Casino not giving Flux the range to utilize that whip. Gets caught a couple times, but doing a good job smothering Flux's options. And, you know, Flux reduced to jumping in, trying to get more aggressive. Gonna eat a bunch of punishment for even trying. Ooh, tries to whip punish, not happening. All right, Flux able to get the pressure off with that V-Break, but even then, life lead is in Casino's favor. It could be dwindled down a little bit. No activation on the stand medium punch. Oh boy, this is tough. This is tough. Yeah, that's it. Stand medium punch clears it out, and Casino making a run with it in this third game, showing how much better this character is when he actually has the normals that he wants to use. That claw is so key, and uh, right now he's been able to keep it at least. Yes, Casino playing a lot more aggressively that time out, and I think that might be the game plan. That might be what he has to do. He has to avoid being intimidated. He has to resist the urge to turtle, because he has to get in there and really make Flux hurt. All right, we'll see if he can keep it up. We'll see if Flux just doesn't switch characters, to be honest, because that kind of is Flux's MO. If he if he loses one game with one character, who will very gladly switch to another just to shake up his opponent, especially when he's up 2-1. Mm. He only needs to win one yeah. more game. One little switch up can just put it entirely in his favor. Mm, but let's see, let's see. Minot! It is going to be Minot versus Vega for what could be the final game of the set if Flux gets lucky. And we've seen Flux do some good work with this character. Let my beauty intoxicate you. Yeah, uh, I think one of the risks, though, is that Minot's anti-air is really, really not as good as Poison's. And so jump-ins are going to be a lot scarier. That being said, right now, things are working out for Flux. Was able to get an orb recall combo, but there's the jump-ins that I yeah, talked about. Yeah. And now you're in the corner. They are. Now life but sucks. Out of it, but eating the sweep and eating a throw, another Izuna drop. Casino's starting to make Flux pay for making this switch. A good Flux, a good Minot, Minot is what I meant to say, can really shut you down and make you feel like you're up against the best character in the game with no options. But Flux kept on the back foot, starting to push Casino back, but a dominating life lead for Casino, who has Flux in the corner yet again. All right, Flux at least gets the anti-air. He has V trigger on deck, so he could just activate. Does a delay activation, and because of that, kind of gets in an awkward situation. All right, the V trigger activates, and yeah, the jump in just so hard for Minot to consistently answer. Another round for Casino Coke. That is three rounds in a row now, and Flux really got to make something happen here. I mean, still up two games to one, but you do not want to drop that many rounds in a row. The psychological toll can be worse than the physical one, and his, if Casino can get in Flux's head, Flux's defensive playstyle will fall apart. Okay, here comes the pressure. The stance switch mm. does create some awkward situations that Flux is thankfully able to challenge and push. Casino Coke out. Nice, nice anti-air. Bends the bar. Anti-air so throw. throw. And, and now, now without the claw, this is entirely in Flux's favor. Mm. Trade with the anti-air. We'll take those. And just a little bit of life as Flux gets him on the ropes with the uh, with the orbs. And, you know, that big crystal ball yeeted straight into your shin must really hurt. Mm. Like, oh, that yeah. must just hurt. It's like just below a Lego block. Like, it is real bad. I'm surprised that hasn't been a mod yet, making the orb a Lego block. Right. Mm -hmm. 
Missed opportunities, guys. Ooh, nice anti-air again. Oh, yeah, anti -air. Critical arc coming out. Flux knows to spend it while he's got it. Getting that damage sorely needed and only a little longer left before he's taking this set. This is looking... Come back true. Yeah. Yeah, we're done here. We're done. <laughs> we might be. I... We might be. One more interaction Without... is all it could take. And there we go, right again, the same move, clears it. Flux moving Minot on ahead wins. against DB Gen. GG's Casino Coke. He put up a good fight. He made a good show of himself, but it just wasn't enough. Not against this caliber of competition.